What's up, y'all? Welcome back to a one-to-one -one scale model of my bedroom. I'm your host, Willem Dafoe. Da 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 da. Vinyl update six. What a banging intro. What's up, main channel? I usually say what's up, Patreon. This is usually the position I take for my Patreon exclusive stuff. But you know, every once in a while, I guess I do bust on here and decide to post something in this position in my main channel, and that would be a vinyl update. Vinyl update six, I believe it is, because it's been a, a couple months since I've last graced your screens talking about some vinyls that I've got. Uh, it's currently December. It's early December. You're checking this out early December, and I wanted to give a nice buffer between the last video and the next video. So this is going to be a nice little Christmas edition, I guess you could say, even though it's early November. Fuck December. I'm losing it. Also, uh, I found out I have a coronavirus. So yeah, let's fucking go. It's not a huh? good thing. What do you mean? It's it's not a not a good thing. Oh. 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 Mark it in the books. Vinyl update six is also the coronavirus update. I have it. Damn. So I thought, what what else am I gonna fucking do except sit here for a couple weeks? Instead, let's show some vinyls that I got. I got a nice hefty handful here. Some that I've been sitting on for a while, and some I just completely forgot about. I tried watching some of my old vinyl updates in preparation for this, but they're so cringy. Good God, I don't know why anyone would watch that. I didn't learn what lights were until I turned 20, so... I guess, I don't know. Whatever. This is gonna be a nice hangout video. If you'd like to see more of me like this, you could check out my Patreon. It's only five bucks a month. And you could hang out with patrons like these. Look at all these beautiful patrons. That one's pretty cool. He got a drop shadow behind his name. So yeah, enough shilling. I guess I got nothing else to say. I guess we'll just jump right into the vinyl update. So the order I usually go is seven inches, then ten inches, and then black records and then colored records it's usually the order i go in and i think this one's good not just because it's the order i start in but it's because i teased this i'm pretty sure back in like vinyl update four i think uh kanye west wash us in the blood seven inch yeah i think i remember just saying it randomly this might have been two actually let's get into the record that i have on the way wash us in the blood on vinyl it's coming i think it said like 12 weeks or some shit like a long ass time ago I talked about this I was like yeah by the way I got a uh, Kanye West wash us in the blood vinyl and I did and I just I ordered it and it said it wasn't gonna come for many many months I think it came December of last year so this is almost 365 days that I have not showed this to the public and what a shame because I really like it I mean I was expecting a little less from Kanye West if I'm being real but I mean it's just a, a small vinyl essentially just the cover then the same thing on the back but the vinyl is where I sprung. So hopefully StockX will give me mercy because, you know, maybe I'll sell it for a pretty penny. Who knows? Probably not. But look at that. Nice little red. You can see it's spinning on the turntable right now. But a, ni a nice little baby red. Baby blood red. It's just the same song. It's not even like a remix. It's literally just the single song Wash Us in the Blood multiple times. I mean, I'm not complaining. The thing's a fucking smacker. But I mean, I mean, come on. At least like a remix or like... The vocals? I don't fucking know. But I still think it looks very nice. I think this is a great start. Penis 1-2, penis 1-2. Ooga Booga. Now on to something else that I teased in th uh, th the last one. Five? Yes? Last one I teased was five. And I remember specifically going about Record Store Day, and then me realizing, shit, this might be a UK Record Store Day exclusive. And I, th I don't even know if I gave the update, but I, I bought it online. The one that I got was 21 Pilots. And the one I'm holding currently, everything, everything, super normal. Haha. -ha. Yeah, this song, this song's a fucking slapperoonie, and I knew I had to get the vinyl version. I think it looks really cool. I think the colors. I think this looks way better than the Reanimator cover, in my personal humble opinion. Differences of colors, like it's the bright pink, but then it also has the hints of blue and the hints of like yellow-ish, whereas the Reanimator cover is just entirely orange. But I think this looks very nice, personally. On the back, you got the other side, the Mercury and Me cover, because this is a double single, really. It's uh, Super Normal and then Mercury and Me on the second half. And then it comes with a Big Climb remix by the Foles guy. And then you got a Black Hyena remix, which is kind of lit. I kind of like that Black Hyena remix, actually. I might listen to that. And another thing that's kind of lit. Oh, boy. Check this shit out. Ooh, look at you. Nice and splattered that's lit yeah this is pretty high up there with one of the prettiest records i own and i like how unique it is because it's so small hopefully this turned into a collector's item because i'm a huge fan of the song 
and I'm just excited to see where the band goes next. You see it's spinning on the turntable right now, and I think it just looks beautiful. I keep hitting my mic, I'm so sorry. Don't make fun of me. Don't make fun, bro, I've got coronavirus. Everything, everything, super normal, 10 inch. I didn't even think I said 10 inch. But yeah, that's the end of the tiny records that I got. We're on to the full regular 12 inches, but we're on regular black records. I wonder if anyone knows what this is. <laughs> that's Harakiri by uh, SD Laika. This is a vinyl that looked very sick. I was very captivated, needless to say, by the album cover. Kind of looks like a funny meme with like my face, maybe? No? Whatever. But the album cover I was immediately intrigued by. And then I listen to the music, and I don't want to spoil what the music is, because I have not talked about it on my Patreon, uh, I've been listening to shit series, and I haven't talked about it on the main channel, because I plan on talking about this on the main channel, that's why I picked up this vinyl, for some research. So, I'm going to leave you guys a little bit in the dark on that, but in the meantime, just appreciate the artwork, I think it's very spooky, that's why I don't have it hanging up on my vinyl wall behind me, because I don't want this thing looking into my soul when I sleep. The back is interesting, it looks like just some abstract blobs and stuff, but what I find interesting is, I don't know if you could see from where you're sitting, but it's like if you put it through Microsoft Word, and it like red squiggly underlines the misspelling stuff, and I think that's very funny. Like it says his name is misspelled, and Harakiri misspelled, I don't know, I think that's a very comical touch, which I also appreciate when you go into the record. You know, don't let the white paper slave fool you, it is just a plain black record. However, I like that it seems to be that the font is in white, but the squiggly line is still there. The squiggly red line is underneath it, as if the text was just st put on here in white, which is kind of strange, but I still think it's kind of cool. And you can still tell which side's A and which side is B, which I appreciate, because sometimes people forget, and ooh, ooh boy do I get annoyed when I can't tell which side is which. Yeah, nothing great, nothing that's outstanding, just regular black vinyl, just a little something. It was relatively cheap too, so, you know, no harm, no foul. Yeah, if you want to check it out before I make the video on it, you know, be my guest, give it a listen, see if you like it or not, before I speak about my thoughts. I like the kind of weird face look. Alright, I'll continue, don't worry guys. I'm sick, you can't make fun of me. <laughs> Next in the trilogy of standard black vinyl, this was probably more known. Dos Monos, Dos City. Yes, sir. The avant-garde hip-hop trio, their debut studio album. A, I like it from the cover alone, and B, I listen to it on my I've Been Listening to Shit series, and I found it very enjoyable. You know, even though I cannot understand a single thing that they're saying, I still think that the cover was worth picking up. The back, just kind of a recreation of the texture up front, like snake skin or something along with the credits on the back, nothing too crazy, nothing too wild. Regular white sleeve, nothing really too eye-grabbing or shit my pants exciting. Vinyl record is put together pretty nicely. The only thing I will say, I'm a little underwhelmed by the uh, label art, because it is just kind of white with the track list on it. Whereas, at least SD Leica had a little interesting thing where it's just, you know, the white text or whatever. I mean, it's not bad, it's just kind of there, and uh, I mean, at least you got the little the little uh, monkey man over there in the corner hanging out, so it's pretty cool. It's just, you know, your average vinyl, I guess. It's very hot in here. That could just be my coronavirus, though. I gotta stop talking about coronavirus before I get demonetized. There we go. Took longer than I would have thought, and you will be punished for that later. Dos Monos and Dos City. Nice little beat tape if you don't speak the language. Still listen to it. You get the vibe and the cadence of the music. The final trilogy in the Black Records. Now, if you can't tell, it's been slowly gaining in recognizability. If you look at the thumbnail, I think you know where this is going. Igor! Haha! <laughs> Yes, Tyler the Creator's 2019 album, Igor. How did I not have this sooner? Well, actually, I know how I didn't have this sooner. Uh, my one friend, shout out to Darren, he, uh, for Christmas, or his birthday, one of the two, I got him Igor, and I bought it from my record store, and I guess my brain for a while kind of tricked myself and was like, no, Jake, you already bought Igor, you don't, you don't need it, I was like, oh, okay, so for the longest time, I was just like, yeah, I've had Igor, but now, I'm holding Igor, now, I got this at my local record store, and the difference that I, and something that I think is very lit that they, that they're doing, they're using pre-owned records where usually it's usually like the you know it new shrink wrapped ones where now they start saying used ones and this is a used copy of igor i got for like i think twelve dollars 
and it's lit. I inspected it. There seems to be no major fuck ups or anything like that. It plays great on my record player. So that's kind of fucking lit. Uh, if my record store that I'm not going to dox myself about wants to keep doing that, I'd highly recommend it because I was a customer that really appreciated it. First gate fold of the day, pop her open. Look at that. Tyler the Creator is vibing in his Igor form. Wrong finger, Igor form. You know, track list credits. You, you do what you will with that information. A little poster of Tyler, a little crinkled on the edge, but whatever. Two of Tyler. I guess you could pick one or the other. Maybe this is how Jackson Burns decorates his room. Let me get a rim shot editing, Jake. Ripper open, plain white casing, nothing too intriguing. Open her up, and you know, it's got the nice little- Ooh, this is weighty. I didn't realize how, like, girthy this bitch was. Yeah, this bitch is girthy. And you got the classic Igor font, and then the Igor, all songs written, produced, and arranged by Tyler o o Okanama. Okanama? Okanama? It's Igor. Y'all know what's up. I just felt it was about time that I finally get Igor on record. Let's uh, scare some people. Ready? Call this the the hospital flip. Yeah, I think it was about time I picked up Igor. Huge fan of the record. I think it's very good. I'm a really big fan of what Tyler Creator does. So, I mean... Yeah, why not? And if it was so relatively cheap for me in the used section, and if there's nothing wrong with it, then hell yeah, I'm gonna pick it up. Uh, I'd have to be a fool not to appreciate that deal. See, I fucking hate these paper sleeves. They're such a pain in the dick. Because they won't fucking lay in there the right way. Do, 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 Oh my fucking god, it won't fit. Fucking lord, that took way too long. Ignore my stress and my pain, Tyler the Creator, Igor. Pretty good album, I have to say. Glad I picked it up, and I'm glad that we're off of the black records. Jake, please, we're sick and tired of looking at black vinyls. Can you please give us something new, interesting, and colorful? All right, you want fucking new, interesting, and colorful? Check this out. JPEG Mafia, veteran. Ah. Don't be alarmed, this is not the real copy. This is a bootleg from Roland Records, because they got the cool shit. So I bought this uh, at a pre-order. I don't know if it exists anymore. Well, it probably exists, but probably like really sold fucking out. I think me and Jackson Burns both got this, and I think it's pretty lit personally. Big fan of Veteran. I do like the other cover better, which you do kind of see when you open it up, but I'll get to that. But I think for what the cover is, I think it's really cool. Just the food stamps card, and then flip it over. It's the back of the food stamps card. Like that's that's funny. Like. He, he, um, come on, it's funny. It's like a, a fucking comedy, bro. So then inside, we open her up, and this is what I was alluding to the original cover, because this is like what the original cover would be if you didn't have, like, the alternative Bandcamp one, and on the back, kind of the same thing. So pretty cool sleeve. This is the first colored sleeve that we have today. And then, you slip out the, slip out the goods, if you know what I mean. And then check this out. Baby blue vinyl. Looks very nice. Where I'm standing, this is more of a uh, blue tinged aquamarine slightly, but my camera has a weird trouble like Getting color right uh, like I was mentioning I can't tell which side is a which sides B because it's just like uh, Just says a number and then some hand written drawings, which isn't bad But I do wish I can kind of tell which sides which pretty sure the drawings is side a But you know not too shabby. I think this is a really nice piece I think the colors are very bright and vibrant and I think it's a pretty good color, honestly, to go with this. I don't know if I would have picked it, but, you know, once I have it in my hand, I think it looks very nice when compared to the entire record. It's a nice record I always want on vinyl. Glad to pick it up, even though if it is a bootleg. I'm fine with it being a bootleg. Some people are, like Luke on Demand, refuses to have anything that could be considered a bootleg, because God forbid he, make, he gets fun of and rate your music. But me, hey, as long as it has a cover and plays, I'll fucking buy it if, you, if I got the cash. So, yeah. On to the next. Ah, uh, boy. I guess we're gonna get me in trouble today, because why not? 21 Pilots, <laughs> Scaled and Icy. Yeah. Um, if you follow my Patreon and you know of my recent I've been listening to shit escapades, <laughs> I was, I'm a Scaled and Icy enjoyer. I'm saying it. Well, obviously I am, because I'm now telling the world in this video, but I don't think it's terrible. I think it's very good pop music. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I don't think there's any offensive about it. I just, I enjoy it. I'm a 21 Pilots enjoyer. I have blurry face, I have trench, and now I have scaled and icy. Look at her. Yeah, this recently went on sale because I remember this album came out in May and I put out a tweet regarding it 
uh, something to the extent of, you know, you don't have to buy the people's CDs because big artists are definitely going to release vinyls. And that's what I did. I didn't buy a CD. I sat and bided my time because, yeah, I knew a vinyl was going to come out sooner or later because it's 21 Pilots. They're a fucking huge band. No matter how shitty the album does, they're going to have vinyls out for it. Back cover, nice little just list of shit of this track list. I feel embarrassed a little bit showing you this, but I don't care. I don't care. Ooh, I almost puked. I enjoy Scale the Nicey. I don't think it's, like, a f fucking amazing record. I think it's very good. I enjoy it. I m enjoy the majority of the songs. I can't agree. Some songs do sound like just absolute car commercials, which, you know, it's just, it's happy music. I don't know what to tell you. It's, I like what I want. It's not making fun of me, bro. Open her up. You got a printed l insert. Look at that. You got fucking Tyler and... Josh, this is Tyler, and that's Josh. I don't know, I'm not in the fandom, I don't know 100%. Then flip it over, you get like the track list with, I think it's pretty cool that they have just individual logos for each of them. Like each song has its own logo, along with the credits on this nice gradient background. I don't know, I think this is pretty lit, honestly. I like the idea of just every song having its own logo. And then, the creme de la creme, which kind of saves me from the scrutiny of online music goers for buying this. It's colored. Ooh, transparent blue. Look at you. What a kid see ghost looking ass. I believe this was the Walmart version. Uh, the Walmart exclusive version. Because I know there's one that's like white clear. Fucking pink clear. This. And then there's like an Amazon exclusive which is like orange. I kind of like the Amazon orange better. But this one still looks pretty lit, honestly. I think it looks very nice. I do have my criticisms of like clear vinyls like this. Because I can never fucking tell where songs start and where they end. So I always like, it's just a random guess or whatever. I put the needle down so I can listen to it. But yeah, I don't want to defend myself anymore. 21 Pilots Skeleton IC is not bad. And now I own it. I've immortalized on my desk. I believe we're a little over halfway through. So this will be a nice little relaxing video. Watch the snow falls in the background on a nice winter day. Or maybe you're in California and it's just another fucking day that slightly colder than normal. All right, Jake, we're sick of you being not based. Can you please make yourself more based? Okay, of course I can. Clipping, Wriggle EP, the loser edition. Saw this, I got an alert on Bandcamp actually. And I was like, when the fuck did I get alerts on Bandcamp for clipping? But apparently I did. And apparently they had this bad boy, the Wriggle EP, the loser edition. Cover looks pretty cool. I do kind of wish it was the original version, but Maybe they didn't go with the original because it's like, oh, it's a cassette tape meme, but it's a vinyl. You can't do that. Well, you can, but I mean, like, I'm not too the one to fucking tell you what to do. I think the art's very weird. It's just all these, like, abstract shapes and stuff with the slight outline of the original cover that you can kind of tell. Flip it on the back. You got the track list down here, and then you got more abstract shapes and colors. Take it out of the condom. Look at her. And you get a little bit more of the original clipping art because it's kind of the same dimension. I don't know. This just kind of looks like a fever dream type shit. It looks really cool. I think it's lit. And then it, you open this up. Boy, when I tell you this is in contention for one of the nicest records I own. Like, look at this shit. Wow. I don't even know. I think it was just loser edition vinyl. I think that's what it's called. But god damn, this is sick. The colors are exquisite. The blacks and whites, like snowstorm green, I want to call it. Like, this is lit. This is this is really fucking sick. I bet a lot of people pick this up, not even knowing about Wriggle or, like, the fucking clipping. Maybe they don't like it, but they're like, damn, this fucking, this cover looks sick. I, vinyl, fuck. See, I'm in awe just looking at it. It looks very nice, I have to say. Yeah, it was a no-brainer pickup. I like Wriggle. I like the songs. Some of them I do have my criticism for, but some are just so fucking good. They're such bangers that you can't help but, like, if you see it, you gotta pick it up on vinyl, especially if it's limited edition. And I'll be fair, this is another vinyl that I'm a bit upset about, not being able to tell which side is A or B, but, I mean, the colors almost make up for that. So, ladies and gentlemen, Wriggle, clipping, very good, very good. Jake, please, we need you more based than just fucking clipping. All right, here's how based I am. Jade, Pandai Jing. I finally did it. I made a whole bit in the video about how I could not get this thing on time for when my video started. And then, as soon as I click publish on it, literally the second I fucking click publish, this showed up. So, you know, fuck me, right? 
But I mean, I'm glad I got in the first place. Bought this off Bandcamp. If anyone doesn't know what this is, if no one's familiar with my channel, I didn't see the video this is based off of. I made a video about an artist named Pandai Jing. And this is this industrial fucking like crazy ambient album that I was a huge fan of that I found came out in 2021. Probably gonna be on my top 10 list, not gonna lie. And I saw there was a vinyl available for it, so I picked it up. Uh, it was very lit, took a very long time to get here, but I mean, I guess it was worth the wait. On the back, there's more art of Pandai Jing. Ooh, whoopsies. You might have to censor that, Jake. It's a female nipple. All right, well, I'll give you some editing work because I do want you to see how on the back, you see what the light reflects? It says Jade in like a cool font. That's lit, dude. I do always remain that small indie artists literally have the best vinyl mock-ups and best fucking production with it. Like, look at this shit. It's a picture book that comes with it. This is lit. It's just weird abstract imagery, probably from Pan's, you know, various art installations, if I had to take a guess. I gotta make sure there's not a rogue titty on here. I'm not having a repeat of last time. You know, even if it's not much, it's definitely just something to prove that they cared. Like, look at that. This is this is really cool. Nice little picture book. And hopefully, when this album gets the fucking respect it deserves, then I could be like, yo, check this out. I got a very rare pressing of this with some excellent art to go along with it. Inside the record sleeve, you have some nice weird abstract art. And then flip it on the back side. You have, you know, kind of the track list, really. Because the track list wasn't really on the back or any of this. It says the tracks in order from top to right. It's kind of cool. And you got the font there. But ladies and gentlemen, as I viciously yank this out, check this out. Pure white. That's nice. I think that is a very, either the two ways you could have went with a vinyl for this was either disgusting, like brown and green type shit or perfectly pristine white. I think that's a very good dichotomy for the sounds on this record. So if you have not heard this record, I highly recommend checking out Jade by Pandai Jing is an absolute fucking exquisite piece i think it's a really cool downward spiral of emotion and sound and fucking crazy shit and the vinyl looks very nice too i don't know if there are any left you can check them out on bandcamp if you want uh i might link it if there's any left if it's not linked to the bandcamp then whoopsies sorry all out should have got it when i made a video about it but nonetheless very happy with this pickup i think this is just very beautiful the album sounds sick i think the like cover and uh, art looks amazing the sounds are excellent yeah, if you haven't checked this out, check it out. If you like the kind of stuff that, like, my uh, Silver Mount Zion or uh, fucking Tom York or even Caretaker to some extent, I think you'll enjoy this because it's, like, very found sound type shit. Jade, Pandai Jing, good pickup. Glad I got this. I don't know if this is my fever dream state, but I've been watching a lot of, like, uh, like tiny builds. Like, what's the guy's name? Uh, tiny nerdy things or whatever i love that type of shit if you always want to relax and look at some cool art watch someone build like a tiny fucking structure of some stuff it's crazy another bit of an older pickup that i kind of just forgot to talk about uh aesop rock apple seed the original or one of the original album slash eps of legendary rapper aesop rock if you don't know i loved malibu ken and i gave this a listen recently and then i found out oh wait they just pressed it on vinyl so i was like Okay, I'm down. I like Aesop Rock. His production's pretty good. So I picked it up and look at it. It looks pretty cool. Usually I'm not a huge fan of just like single words on the covers with like black imagery, but I think this kind of works because it's just like so sprawled out and looks very weird with the placement and the text itself. I think it's a cool. I think it's cool. Ooh, track six is produced by Blockhead. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if that will come into play as storytelling progresses. Yes, back you have the track list and you have the, you know, information that you need to know where to sue people if it's broken. Open it up. This one's interesting. A black, like, uh, insulated one, which I think is pretty cool. I kind of respect it because usually Rhyme Sayer Records is the, you know, company that Aesop Rock, the record label Aesop Rock's upon, and they got banging banging album stuff so you'll see what i mean again as storytelling progresses so there's a nice insulated black here so that the insert and outsert does not fuck up the album did i say outsert man i do i'm fucking tired but again like i said rhyme sayer knows what they're doing with vinyl check this out clear smoky black or gray I don't know, I, I can see you through here, that's crazy. Whoa, what's up? See, you can almost not tell which side it is, but at the very, very bottom, right? It says, like, blah, 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 A. Blah, 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 B. Yeah, I think it's kind of, 
whatever it's just the album cover pressed on the thing but i do think the colored album kind of saves it honestly i'm gonna be real i don't know if i would have picked this up if this was a just normal black release but you know i'm glad i did i think it looks very sweet i enjoy some you know abstract hip-hop type shit i'm a big fan of aesop rock i mean i'm a malibu ken enjoyer for god's sake and you know just really cool overall just a nice little thing to put on to play when you're hanging out balling Ooh. Damn, 1999 this came out. Fuck, I wasn't even born yet. God damn, Aesop Rock is old. Speaking of Aesop Rock, like I mentioned, storytelling is progressive because next up, Aesop Rock Blockhead Garbology. Ooh, you see what I did there? Sandwiched two of the same artists right behind each other. This is a new album that came out, very new recently. Very new, actually. I believe this is uh, October this came out, like... Actually, maybe November this come out. When the fuck did this song come out? November 12th. Good God. Has it been a month yet? It's not even gonna be a month by the time I release this video. I really fuck with this album. If you, again, hate to show my Patreon, but of course I don't. What am I talking about? I talked about just how much I really enjoyed this. And, uh, spoiler alert, this is gonna be pretty high on my year-end list, because I know it's just kind of just... I'll, I like abstract hip hop, but when they when it's done right, it's done very right, and I'm a huge fan of this. I really like the sounds, and like I said, it's Aesop Rock and Blockhead. That's why I said, "Ooh, Blockhead." That name's gonna be familiar as storytelling progresses. I do think that the album cover is a little lackluster, if I'm being very frank. They missed the perfectly good opportunity to do some like garbage pale kid type shit. Uh, maybe that'd be a little too similar to the uh, like. Malibu Ken cover, but it's a garbology. It kind of works. It's like Garbage Pail Kid. I think that makes sense. Whatever. I didn't fucking design it. On the back, more garbage art. You got a little dead rat there chilling. And we found something in your garbage that you should know about. A nice little intriguing thing at the record store. Ooh, what did they find in the garbage? Let's find out. A gatefold here. Let's check out this bad boy. Yo, what the fuck is going on here, bro? It's just a bunch of like loose uh, brand brand in air quote brand shit just scattered everywhere that's garbage I think it was very nice you got the track list and you also got the production credits just kind of scattered everywhere as if it was garbage which i think is a very good production choice in my humble opinion now this is the first one we have a double lp uh so yeah i think that is our first double lp of the day so this is where i congratulate the record but also gotta be like what the fuck were you doing dude damn my hair gets like progressively longer every vinyl update I do wow that was a big truck anyway what was I saying yes so the whole theme about this record is garbage garbology I think it's like the garbology is like the study of what people think is garbage or not is something so it only made sense to them like oh if it's about garbage let's put the vinyls in a trash bag I saw it when I opened it. I'm like that's clever that is clever respect however comma when you put it back in oh my fucking god you're gonna see me try and put it back in i'm not gonna do it now because i want to show the vinyl but oh my god it is a pain in the dick so let's look at this vinyl kind of similar to the uh apple seed vinyl but different by itself too look at this like smog i'm gonna say san francisco smog gray it's not see-through like uh the other one but i still think it's pretty cool i think the art is pretty nice too it is, like I said, you can easily tell which side it's A. Look at that. A, Pepsi. B, Chip. Easy. Easy to tell. And I'm a big fan of the art. I think it's really cool. You can even tell what tracks are on here. Yeah, this song is all killer, no filler. I'm a huge fan of this album, personally. And if you want to hear my full in-depth thoughts, you can check out my Patreon. Man, I should take a shot when I'm editing this every time I say Patreon. A shot of uh, booster vaccine, not alcohol, by the way. <laughs> that was a fucking good one, dude. <laughs> All right. Like I promised, I do have to put this back. Now, enjoy the following uncut, possibly sped up footage of me trying to jam this thing back in the vinyl. It's just sticking out. It just, there's, it, there's just like a black piece sticking out. <sighs> It was a great idea in concept. Upon execution, a bit kind of fucky. But I still think it's a great album. I think it's pretty good vinyl packaging. Rhyme Sarah Records always kills it. So yeah, fucking Aesop Rock and Blockhead. Garbology, almost said Malibu Ken. 
I was very mad when I found that this wasn't Malibu Ken. I'll be very frank with you. And now, the end of this coronavirus-infused vinyl update. I want to save a pretty cool one for last, because I don't really know how many people knew that this was back in stock recently. And I also kind of like the look. You'll know what I mean. Flume! Hi, this is Flume. Hi, this is Flume. Hi, this is Flume. Hi, I'm losing my mind. Yeah, hi, this is Flume. I literally just went on his website just out of the blue one day, and I was like, I wonder what vinyls are kicking around. And it was fucking high. This is Flume. I was like, what? When the fuck did you come back in stock? I don't think he announced it anywhere or said anything. And this was this is just back in stock. Or it was back in stock when I bought it. I think this was like August, maybe. Who knows? But my point is he didn't publicly announce it. So I didn't really know how many people knew that they had a restock. So when I saw it, I was like, oh boy, lucky day for me. I'm getting my ass a copy of Hi, This is Flume because I really enjoy the album. I think it's kind of lit. I really like the JPEG Mafia slow tie features. And I think this got robbed at the 2021 Grammys. Personally, that's just my opinion. Also, I like the art and the colors, the nice car here with the nice little flume man hanging out, going on a trek through the mountains. Speaking of mountains, flip side, you get more mountainous imagery and some like weird little like fucking sprinkle just images. That's the best way I can describe it, just sprinkled images. You get the track list, some cool stuff. Oh, of course, with Sophie. How did I forget Sophie? All right, PMP is to an absolute legend. Another gatefold, open her up. Look at you, it's the whole car. Just not like the front. It's the entire vehicle. Very ugly car, but I mean, pretty cool considering this is probably the biggest expense that the record label kind of used for this one. Special thanks to all the collaborators. It's very sweet. And then you got more following credits and stuff like that of writers and producers and the works. This is a gatefold, however, but it's not a double album, it's a single album. But what you do get, look at this, a giant fucking poster. Ready for this shit? <laughs> what the fuck? It, it doesn't even fit in frame, good lord. Yeah, look at that shit. What the fuck? <laughs> got some more, yeah, it doesn't even fit all the way in frame, good lord. Yeah, this thing's fucking crazy. Yeah, the artwork associated with this album is pretty lit, I think, personally. Yeah, I'll use this as my safety blanket from now on, I guess. Hi, this is Flume. I think the art inside of it is very lit. Like, this poster's so fucking big, I don't even know what to do with it. It's literally cascading a shadow over me. Good fucking lord, this thing's huge! Man, uh, Jackson Burns would love this thing. I also think it's a very neat lesson in space management, because it's very funny how I could get something that big down to such a manageable size to just slide back into the album. All right, Jake, enough of comically large posters. Let's get to everyone came here for the vinyl. You got a nice printed insert, obviously going all out if you couldn't tell earlier. Nice little footprint shit. This looks very nice. I think it's very cool. Flip side, you get more of these abstract logos and designs and stuff like that, which I find very interesting. I like, ooh, I didn't even mention the uh, funny little logos at the top corner here. You can't see because it's too pixelated. My camera's not that HD. But Jake, shut the fuck up and show us the vinyl. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, I warned you, this is going to be a fucking doozy. This thing's heavy and it looks amazing. Look at you. It's kind of like the everything, everything vinyl I got, but like, look at this. This thing's fucking crazy. Also, this might be the first album I ever got that is a square, like, label sticker. What the fuck? Flip it on the backside, it just says flume like normal with some colors that's gonna make my camera CPU burn out. But dude, like, it's just a square on this side. What the fuck? It's a cube. Three-dimensional being. That's crazy. I think it looks fucking sick. I think the vinyl looks amazing. I think the colors are just um, sick here. I just can't say enough nice things about this. This is probably in contention for one of the nicest vinyls that I own because it's just so intricately and just like strangely produced i respect how weird it is from a album that's equally as weird so big respect to flume for this one and big respect to his team i just let's just fucking look at this for a little bit god damn this thing's wild so pretty man i could fucking look at this shit all day if i could all right like all good things they must come back to where they were from uh yeah this is very lit uh i'm really glad that i stumbled upon this one i did because now I have a copy of Hi This Is Flume on beautiful vinyl, personally. I think this is very nice. I think Flume and his team outdid themselves today. And with that said, that's the vinyl update, everyone. Thank you for stopping by for Vinyl Update 6. Hopefully on this cold December evening you're watching this video, relaxing, splashing, and I get better from my coronavirus.
This is probably going to come out December 10th, so uh, hope you enjoy. Get ready for a banger. I mentioned what the new video is going to be on my I've been listening to shit, but I'm not going to spoil it here. If you want to know what it is, just go over there and give it a look. Ah! And if you do have me on Patreon, then you can see the video early. You can get the unedited, uncut version where I don't take out any, you know, copyrighted claims or anything like that. So I'm probably going to want to do that if this is a... Not gonna spoil it. I almost did. Not gonna spoil it. But yes, and along with that, you could give me albums to listen to that if I enjoy enough, I could get on vinyl. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And as long as you remember to throw away your empty bag of Doritos that's sitting on your desk counter as you're recording, then you're all set. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Buy some vinyls for Christmas and have a pleasant day. Yeah.